To round out the first six speakers, please welcome Miguel Sierra Enzar, the co-founder and CEO of Noble Thermodynamic Systems, Inc. Miguel will cycle you through a new power system that harnesses argon gas to advance an emission-free source of electricity. Miguel? So good evening, everyone. Uh, I am Miguel, co-founder and CEO of Novo Thermodynamics, where we are working to bring clean and affordable power, make that a reality. Now, today, we are faced with the challenge of our century, climate change. So growing population and increasing energy demand is driving and motivating the continuous consumption of food, and with that, worsening of air quality and global warming. Now, everybody in this room may agree with me that the solution is clear and we are going after that, renewable energy. So we should install more wind, uh, windmills, more solar panels. Now, let me tell you something. While I agree with all of you, clean energy has a little dirty secret. The truth is that by every solar panel and windmill that we install today, an equivalent or larger amount of natural gas capacity follows. Just to check the facts, today probably, right now, 60% of the energy power in this room comes from natural gas in the PGM market. Now, the truth is, if this is the case, renewable energy is not the only one that is gonna get us out of this challenge and this humongous problem. We need a combination of affordable storage and flexible capacity. And let me emphasize, flexible capacity. Today, most of the technologies and alternatives we have available to us struggle to strike the balance between these three concepts. Clean, reliable, and affordable. You can either pick clean and affordable, you can pick affordable and reliable, but it's really hard, not to say impossible, to achieve the three combined value. That is actually what Novo Thermodynamic is going after. Why is this important? And why is this necessary? Renewable energy cannot fill the need or capricious needs of us, the consumers, to have power at the flip of a switch. That is the need of reliability. If we want to achieve 100% renewable, we need to somehow combine these two concepts with ultimately the cost effectiveness, meaning we all can afford it. So here we are presenting to you the Argon Power Cycle, a technology we developed at UC Berkeley, able to provide just that. And while this is a render and doesn't show much, this is our actual prototype sitting down in Berkeley, California. Now, what is the value proposition behind this technology? You have in the screen all the value proposition from any other technology. Here is where we sit. Our core concept is based on the internal combustion engine to which we retrofit and by which we manage to get plus 10% increase in efficiency, all together capturing 100% of the CO2 generator. Whether you look at efficiency, flexibility, emissions, or ownership costs, we are right there with the benchmark, or in some cases, outperforming the benchmarks. In summary, we have a technology, fuel agnostic, whether you run it with natural gas or renewably generated hydrogen, that is able to give you plus 10% in efficiency, all while emitting zero atmospheric emissions. With all that, where is here the opportunity? So the power manufacturing sector is a market as big as $350 billion, which we don't ambition to capture completely. Now we know this market feeds three, the three biggest consumers of energy, power, transportation, and the industry. If we narrow this sector used to the aspects and, and, and the scale that we can actually capture and assess, we reduce our market down to 100 billion. I can confidently tell you that we are swimming in a 100 billion market and we need help to get into it. Now, how are we gonna do it? Today we are 2019, we have developed our prototype sitting in Berkeley, California, and we need to move in a conservative industry such as the power generation industry to prove not only the, specif the specification of our technology, but that can withstand the rough and tough environments in the field. That's what we are moving towards producing a half a megawatt deployable unit. 
But we are not doing this alone. We have secured the financial support of the largest gas utility in the country. And we are hoping to leverage that fund with non-dilutive funding. More so, we have a great and wide set of collaborators today spanning from research all the way to product development and deployment. Again, I couldn't do this alone. I'm here with my professor, Robert Dibble, who was co-founded with me for this company, and my colleague, Basket Chaturvedi. And we are being guided by an expert and knowledgeable set of advisors in the topics that matter. From, again, research and science, uh, scientific research, all the way to product development. With that said, I'm happy to announce that we are fundraising. I would love to hear anybody that is interested in joining us in developing clean, reliable, and efficient technology. Thank you very much. Thanks, Miguel.